We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane T Marts, we'll look after you. Welcome to this WNPL Round 18 clash that sees third place Geelong Galaxy hosting first place South Melbourne in what is no doubt the match of the round. Both sides desperate for three points. This game could really go a long way to deciding the makeup of the table at the end of the season. They're on the far side. South Melbourne pressing. Trying to put a little bit of pressure up there. Nicolacci steals it away. Chance maybe for Molina Rez. That was ambitious. Trying to catch the keeper off her line there, Melina Ayres, as she's done so many times this season. Gummer in the middle, tries to charge her way through. She's done all right. Gummer, although she runs into a wall of Geelong Galaxy players, and that's a dangerous ball played on the counter-attack. They're stretched here, the South Melbourne defence. Ball played into the right, looking for Gray. Off the post, back, and it's gone in. It's 1-0 Geelong Galaxy. I think the final touch might be off Alex Cheel. It'll probably go down as an own goal. It pinballed in the six-yard box. It was a dangerous ball in for the right. A good counter-attacking move. We'll see on the replay. Ball played in. Looking for Gray in the middle. Off the post. Straight back into the knee of Alex Cheel. Not much she or Molly May Ramsey could do about that. And still fighting there is Martineau. Trying to get it back to Ayres. For the moment, Geelong keep pressing forward. Gray... Fights her way through a sea of bodies. It might sit up here. It's an opportunity. Molly May Ramsey's off her line. It's going to be 2-0. Geelong Galaxy double their lead in just seven minutes. It's Al Hanidi with the finish. She chipped over the keeper. A well-placed finish. Geelong Galaxy taking their chances early. And for the South Melbourne girls, disastrous start. And they have a mountain to climb. Well, that was just a clever chip. She didn't overdo it. She spotted the empty net and placed it in. Ball coming forward. Geelong Galaxy continue to press. Danger here. Alex Gummer gets back. Gets the ball out wide, but it might still come in. Martin with the cross or the shot. Straight at Molly May Ramsey and South Melbourne avoiding the danger this time. Though they might have to do it again. Opportunity still here for Geelong. Across the face and wide. In fact, rolling out and it'll still be in play there on the left side. The ball is played in by Eliadis. Trying to find Greiser or Ayres up front. Eliadis again. Plays the ball in. Dangerous opportunity. Medwin at the far post. And that one just flying away from the keeper. Greiser tries to keep it in. It goes out eventually. A great chance there for South Melbourne. Their best of the match so far. Excellent ball from Eliadis to Medwin. On the left looking for Martineau. She can't win it this time. She tracks back nicely trying to force some pressure on a Geelong opponent. But they're still in here Geelong. Chance over the back on the right. Ball played in shot straight at Molly May Ramsey at the near post who comfortably gloves that one. They're on the near side, chopped off by Cheel. Now Eliadis forces the ball through his Greiser. Greiser goes straight through her opponent. Greiser with the shot and it's 2-1. Fantastic finish by Caitlin Greiser. The goal scoring machine from last season continues that form. What a wonderful finish that was. She just forced her way through with some great physical pressure on her opponent. Spotted what she wanted to do straight away and says, pick that out. 2-1 South Melbourne back in it. On the right-hand side, Martin again. She's been dangerous out there, putting in some good balls all day. She managed to get round her opponent here. And Medwin again gets past her and puts the cross in. It's gone through everybody. It bounces clear. And South Melbourne dodge a bullet just before half-time. Sea of bodies there, and it'll come up eventually to Nicolacci. And there's a great ball. Martin, no, here's Greiser. And Caitlin Greiser, it was a good move from South Melbourne. It opened up nicely for her. She saw what she wanted to do, but she just couldn't get the touch she needed. Gummer. Now it goes back to Martineau from Greiser. It's Eliata, she's making good movement. Here's a chance for Molina Ayres, advancing. Good save, one on one. Molina Ayres was through, might still be there. No, eventually cleared away by Geelong. Gummer. Gets front position. Nice body work, an excellent ball there, Martineau. Opportunity on the left. She gets round onto her right foot, puts a cross in. She wants Nicolacci or Ayres. It'll come to Ayres eventually. Here's Molina Ayres, right foot. She wants Greiser in the middle, goes in board. Here comes Martineau. 2-2, South Melbourne hit back. They have drawn level after going 2-0 down. Natalie Martineau with the finish from the Molina Ayres cross. Well, that is beautiful work by Nat Martineau. She started the move out on the left, 
Ayres ended up with it, put the ball in. That's gut running from Natalie Martineau. That is pure effort and endeavour from her, and she's got the goal she deserves. Corner swings in towards the middle. Opportunity, Greiser! 3 2 South Melbourne. Caitlin Greiser gets her second. She's done it again. She caught the Geelong Galaxy defence there from the corner, just used her size and strength. We can see the ball played in there and perhaps not the cleanest finish she'll ever have, but it doesn't matter. They all go in. South Melbourne steal the lead. Gummer plays it forward for Ayres. Ayres loses it, tries to win it back. But they're on here, Geelong Galaxy. Long ball played through and Gray's in behind the defence. Dangerous times here for South Melbourne. Gray bearing down on Molly May Ramsey. Gray with the shot. It is 3-3. 60 minutes played. Three goals each, six goal thriller here. Well, Geelong Galaxy led for the, pretty much the whole first half. South Melbourne stole the lead, and now they're back on level terms in what is really an entertaining game. And credit to Gray, she picked her spot there nicely, put it past the body of Molly May Ramsey and into the back of the net. Right, one out on the left. I think she might have wanted Nat Martin over, but it's been chopped off. And there's real danger here because Gray's through one on one again. Here comes Gray. The first touch may be a little heavy. Molly May Ramsey reads it well, comes out, saves initially with the knees and comfortably gloves that one. Greiser, two goals already. Would love a hat trick, but she's been denied this time. And this game could be pinched by either side, really, here. They're pressing forward in numbers, Geelong. Opportunity. Cross played into the middle. Oh, great chance. No. Straight at Ramsey. Oh, she hangs her head in her hand. She knows that was a glorious opportunity. Molly May Ramsey, the most relieved on the park as it flew straight up into her hands. And she might try and launch a counter-attack here. What can they get going here, South? Martin O, been one of the best today, as has Greiser with the two goals. And here they come, South Ayres. Molina Ayres. Fancy footwork. Here she goes, Ayres on the right foot. The shot off the post. That was nearly goal of the week. It had the winning goal written all over at Molina Ayres. She knows how close that was. Well, she just toyed with the defence as she charged in, got on the right foot, and that was almost inch perfect off the post. Eliata stands over it, delivers a floating free kick, tipped over the bar. And there's been chances for both sides to win it here. As we get into the last few minutes, this is a nail-biter. And in the end, well, that's quite a good save because that one was dipping late. Dangerous free kick. Corner swings in. Where's Greiser? She's up there. Lots of bodies. It sits up. Opportunity for Ayres! Across the face with the left foot. So close. So close, but somehow the deadlock remains. And the counter-attack swinging forward. Oh, no. It's a mistake. It sits up. Gray. She's got an option on the left. She chooses to run. She'll go with the right. Now the left. And that's off the body, is it? Shouts for a handball. Referee says no. That must have been close. She turned, she got onto the left. Well, it's at the body. The hands are on the body. I'm not sure if it hit from that replay, but it was very close. Ball played back. Is there one last roll of the dice? No, says the referee. The ball floats through. It draws to a close. Six goal thriller, 3-3, befitting the match of the round status. South Melbourne, they'll hold on to top spot for the moment, but we are in for a nail-biting finish this season. A draw, probably a fitting result.